Okay, so you've tried it all. You've tried the General Cure, you've tried the Prozzi Pro, you've even tried my method of feeding Metro, but nothing seems to work. Your fish still has white stringy poop, still has sunken belly, still has bloat. Your fish still has internal parasites. Well, this method I'm gonna show you today is gonna be your last resort. If this doesn't cure your fish of internal parasites, nothing will. Let's go. Welcome to Caveman Aquatics guys, if it's your first time here, my name is Kev from CavemanAquatics.com and I try to make helpful videos on all topics of the aquarium hobby that get straight to the point so you can get back to enjoying your beautiful fish. So if you're new to the hobby or you want to expand your interest in the hobby, consider subscribing because this is the channel for you. I reply to all my comments and questions so feel free to drop me one because I'm here to help. So like I said in the intro, I've already got a great method of eliminating internal parasites. Using a mixture of your favorite fish food, Metroplex, focus and garlic you can feed your fish this medication and it'll go straight to the gut where it needs to be this method is much more effective than just medicating the tank water alone if your fish has stopped eating i suggest you try this method first before trying what i'm going to show you today so for those of you that have already tried that with no success your fish just won't eat any of the medicated food then i'm going to show you a method that should be your last resort i'm going to show you guys how to inject the medication directly into their stomachs through the mouth it's very intrusive and you can hurt your fish if it's done wrong, but it's not difficult to do. The thought of doing this is probably much worse than the actual execution. I learned this method from a great YouTube video and after doing more research, I agree it's a very effective method of getting rid of those internal parasites. I'll post a link to that video in the description below. So let's start off with the materials we're going to need. Our medication this time we're going to use is either General Cure or Fritz Paracleanse. Both the General Cure and the Paracleanse have the same exact ingredients. They both have 250 milligrams of Metronidazole and 75 milligrams of Praziquantel. So you can use either or, General Cure or Paracleanse, same thing. We're gonna use a bag of Epsom salt. Make sure that your Epsom salt does not have any dyes or perfumes in it, trying to make it smell good. You just want regular old Epsom salt, not aquarium salt. Aquarium salt is very different. We need to use Epsom salt for this. Epsom salt is a laxative. It's gonna help your fish poop and clean out their digestive system. We're gonna need plastic pipette droppers. These are usually used to feed corals. They come in many different sizes and are made without any sharp edges that can hurt your fish. I found it on Amazon for a couple of dollars. I'll link it below. You're gonna need two cups of tank water. So I've got my measuring cup here. And yes, I did have to buy my very own measuring cup, not the one from the kitchen. And then you're gonna need a separate cup just for mixing purposes. So the first thing we're gonna do is make a 3% solution of Epsom salt and tank water. I'm gonna get two cups of tank water, pour it into my mixing cup. Now we're gonna mix two tablespoons of Epsom salt into this two cups of water. And that's gonna give us our 3% solution of Epsom salt tank water. It's two tablespoons. Now you want to mix it really well until all that Epsom salt dissolves. take a look at that you can see all the crystals of the Epsom salt have dissolved into the water now we're ready for the next step now we're gonna pour a bit of this 3% solution into our mixing cup no measurement needed really just enough to uh, dissolve the medication that we're about to add don't throw away your 3% solution we're gonna repeat this process for the next two to four days. So just set it to the side, we're gonna use it again. Now we're gonna take about half a packet of your General Cure or Paracleanse. Remember, either or, they both do exactly the same thing. Just about half a pack. Store the other half a pack for tomorrow. 
and give that a good mix until that medication also dissolves into the water. You can see this. Let's see if I can try to show it to you. Not really, but you can see the particles of the medication still in the water. You want to make sure it's got a good mix so that it dissolves fully in the water and we can get all of it right into the belly of the beast. Okay, now we take one of our droplets that we feel is the right size for our size of fish. Now you can give the pipette a squeeze, stick it into your solution, let it go. It'll suck up the solution right into the pipette. You can see how much is in there. You want to make sure there isn't any air in this tube. So you want to squeeze some of the air out. Go back in, release, you suck up more. And there's your medication. We're going to go right into the fish's gut. For those of you that don't know, this is Flavor Flav, my fluorescent peacock. And I've been trying to get rid of his internal parasites for a while now. The first method worked for all my other fish, but Flav continued to be a finicky eater and wouldn't eat the medicated food all the time. So I'm going to this last resort to try and save them. Before handling your fish, make sure that you have a damp towel in case the fish slips out of your hand. Also, your hands should be wet to avoid disturbing the fish's slime coat. Suck up some of the solution into your dropper and make sure there isn't any air in the dropper. You don't want to inject air into the stomach. When attempting to inject the meds, you must insert the dropper past the gills. If you don't go in past the gills, the solution is going to come right back out. If the solution leaks back out through the mouth, that's no good either. You want the meds to go directly into the gut. What I'm doing here is taking a measurement of just how deep this dropper has to go in to go past the gills to reach the stomach. This is a very intrusive procedure, so be as gentle as you can. You will be able to actually feel when you've entered the stomach. You see, some leak back out through the mouth. That could mean it didn't make it to the stomach at all, so I'm going to go in for a second attempt. This time, all of the solution made it into the stomach. Now, I want to get him back in the tank right away. So you see this look on his face like, what the heck just happened? Sorry, Flay, but it had to be done. His fins are pinned back and he's not swimming around too much, which are signs of stress. He's probably recalibrating his thoughts after being so violated. But after about a minute, he's swimming around the tank again like normal, which I was happy to see. You'd want to repeat this procedure for about two to four days or until your fish begins eating again on his own. Then you can go back to the previous method of medicating the food for about a week to make sure you've eliminated all of those parasites. After about a week, Flav was back eating again. His colors were popping and his fins were flared all the time, which to me means he's kind of feeling himself. So when I upgraded tanks a few weeks ago and moved everybody into the new 210, I decided to add Flav in with everybody else. As you can see, he's doing great, looking good, eating like a champ, even fighting for food. He's still got a bit of the sunken belly going on, but I'm in the process of fattening him up. And he seems to be okay with that too. So give this method a shot if you've tried everything else and hopefully you can save your guy too. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing right here so you don't miss any new content. Then watch one of these other videos that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. See you on the next one.